if you're determined you really want something, then go grab it. Say no is very easy. Say giving up is very easy. But the most difficult part is say yes to yourself and be focused and do whatever you can do to achieve what you want right now. So just go grab it. <laughs> can I do it again? Hi, my name is Aneta. Um, I joined Standard Charter in 2007 and I have been working here for six years. I grew up in Hong Kong and uh, I love this city. And um, I study in a traditional Chinese school and it's a girls' school. So if in Hong Kong you see some teenagers wearing a blue Chinese dress and then with their glasses on, I was one of them. Which is of 150 dollars, okay. <laughs> After public examination from high school, everybody is planning their graduation trip. Some people go to Japan, some people go to Thailand. Um, what I think is I want to go somewhere very far away and for a very long period of time. So I searched in the internet. I searched um, international exchange program and I found one in Texas, which has been there for like nearly 30 years. But there is no Chinese ever participate in that program. So I write a letter to the chairperson of that organization and saying that, hey, look, I'm from Hong Kong, I'm a Chinese, and I want to be the first participant in that program. I want a sponsorship from you, and then you will get the first Chinese in your program. That was, that was a defining moment in like my life. I tell myself, okay, whoa, Aneta, you did it. It is a strong can-do mindset that made me accomplish something I really wish. I really don't like job hunting, actually. So I need a good strategy at that point of time to minimize uh, the time I spend in job hunting. Okay, so I create uh, Aneta's job hunting strategy. So I picked the industry I really like, banking, um, consulting, property, and uh, FMCG. Okay, so I just pick the market leader. Okay, so I'm either in working for the market leader in that industry, or I am not in that industry. Okay, so I'm an uh, all or nothing type of person. I either do my best, or I quit. So um, I picked Standard Chartered from the banking industry and that is a good choice. <laughs> a lot of people like they pick the industry they like and then they just send out applications to like all the companies in that industry. So um, some people are ending up in a, in a ground that it, it is not a very like good environment for growth. So I find it like regretful for them they should find a, a farming ground, a rich farming ground for and, and nurture themselves. So, I mean, like a farming ground is so important. Like if you have good seed, but you are put in the soil that is not rich, that's dry, then you never grow. Talk to the people that are actually working in that company. So um, what is most important is the people who actually work in that company. You can tell if they're happy or not, or if they actually gain something from that company. Not only career-wise, but like a personal growth. You need to grow as a person. I got the offer in the first semester in ES3, and then, and then actually I was having afternoon tea with my mom, and then say, I, I, and I got the offer. It's just like two days after final interview. Whoa, I was like, whoa, cool. And then, yeah, that, that is quite a moment that, um, that I will remember like forever. Of course, I got an offer in like the first semester. That means like I can party hard in the second semester. <laughs> there are a lot of talented people here. Um, I don't know if I can be one of them, but 
I am very sure that I can learn something from these talented people. We, in the, in the IG program, we're gonna like rotate every four or five months. So actually, uh, I need to adapt to a new environment every four or five months. That means once you are into that business, then you gotta move. So that's life. And then, uh, but it teach me like you gotta be flexible in this company. Okay, you equip yourself and one day you may be sent to somewhere you don't know the business or you don't know the environment or you don't know the people. But then you need to excel. So uh, we are trained like that. So we equip ourselves and then we are prepared to to face and then to overcome all the challenges. Like after the IG program, um, like I spent two years time in Standard Chartered, I was asked if I'm interested to go to Mumbai to go for a short term assignment. And I say, yes, why not? So um, being at that point of time is like, I was 24 and I went to uh, Mumbai alone. Actually, when I think, when I recall that experience, I wouldn't say I worked in Mumbai. I actually lived in Mumbai. So um, I travel like a local, I eat like a local, I hang out with locals. And I'm really proud that I can actually adapt in that environment very well. I actually wear a sari to work in Diwali. And then the people are, are pretty, they're pretty amazed. Why are like a Chinese girl like wearing sari to work? But then I say, Look, I'm actually living here, so I wear a sari and then I respect the festival, like the major biggest festival in, in, in India. So I enjoy that experience and I gain so much from it. I was called uh, by my mentor one day and then I went to uh, her office and then she said, so how's work going, Anata? And then I said, fine, that's fine. And then she said, okay, so um, do you think you got a lot of donkey work to do? I said, mm, yeah. And then she said, okay, see, uh, there's no donkey, not, no donkey work. Okay, um, donkey work is just a piece of puzzle. So there's a big picture and you're doing one piece of it. So you think it's a donkey work. But it's so important that like without this piece of puzzle, you cannot have the picture, you cannot have the whole picture. So at that point of time, I tell myself, wow, yeah, I'm just doing something, but uh, don't underestimate what I do today. It is part of the picture, okay. So uh, one day I'll create a picture. So I need to know every piece of puzzle. And then like sometimes later, I'm the one who created it. I've been here like for nearly six years. So in the like first five, six years, it is a critical moment for you to acquire all the knowledge you need to know to work in a bank. So all the technical stuff, all like the banking jargon, jargons, everything like that, you need to know in the first five years. Okay, very solid foundation. And then you move on. You need to build your brand. You need people to know you, to people to recognize you, people to know the value of you. So in the next five years, I'm gonna do that. The future me is, I, I really want to hear something like, um, when the people he hear the name Anatta Pan, they will say, well, um, she was an IG and then, she, she's doing everything for a good reason. And um, she did it right. I love working for her. I love working with her. And I trust her.